Last year when I started to gain some traction in 3D printing design, I made this deer sculpture and uploaded it to Maker World. It is my most successful 3D model to this day. Since people seem to really like this kind of abstract sculptures, and I also enjoy making them, I decided to create something similar this year too. So I found this image on Pinterest and it really got me. It is a stunning piece of art. I think my biggest strength is taking inspiring concepts like this and turning them into actual 3D objects that you can print. So alongside with some other cool reference images I collected, I opened up Blender. First, we just need the right foundation to work on. It should be as simple as possible. Using simplifications like symmetries can help a lot. Trying to get good topology from the very beginning is really useful, but it doesn't have to be perfect at this point. You can always fix it later. The mesh should reflect the key features of the shape. In this case, the separation line at the neck is probably the most crucial part of the geometry. The initial shape often looks very bad, and that's normal. The important thing is to keep refining it until the proportions and main lines start to feel right. Reference images are your best guides, but don't let them cage you. If you follow them too strictly, they can push your design in the wrong direction. Finding good topology is not easy, but forcing the shape to work on a bad topology is even harder.
some parts won't come easily. They will take many tries and sometimes even a complete restart. Blender has an awesome set of tools for making smooth, beautiful shapes. I use the relax tool all the time to create a nice flow between the not so perfect points I place by hand. At this point I don't really know how I want the head to look yet, so I start working on the antlers instead. I still don't have a solid concept for the head yet, so I start throwing everything at it and seeing what sticks.
there is a strong mismatch between the head and the antlers, so I have to spend some time to chew in them smoothly. Since I'm more or less happy with how most parts look now, it's time to break up the symmetry and give it a much more natural pose. And with this done, the egg is finished. Time to print it and see it in real life. Since the auto-generated support doesn't seem enough to keep the long legs stable during printing, I add some custom supports. This way the print turned out perfectly. At first I wanted to print it in two parts, but that didn't work out very well. However, for setting up the render, I still use that version. I export the 3D printed geometry file from Pusha Slicer and place it in Blender. I want to recreate the visual style of the reference image, which I originally generated in Midjourney. When I create a render, I care less about lighting everything evenly and more about using darkness to create striking, meaningful shadows.
an image almost never looks perfect straight out of Blender. A bit of post-processing can usually improve it a lot. So that's it. This is how I created this Elk sculpture in Blender. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments and also let me know what kind of content you'd like to see next. Maybe another abstract model or more in-depth videos about rendering, Blender setup, 3D printing workflows, anything. And if you'd like to support me so I can make videos more often, check out my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time.